Hey, Mile High, this is for you. This is the Mighty RM-503. Sorry about the light. As you can see, it has identical horizontal and vertical amplifier sections. They're also electronically identical, not only just on the front panel. And so you ha and then you also have the time base over here, right? Time. And notice, uh, notice the uh, sweep time per centimeters goes down to five seconds per centimeter on the slow sweep. And uh, of course, what we have being displayed right now is a nice uh, basic list as you figure. Uh, <laughs> look at that. And the persistent phosphor is really showing up nicely, isn't it? Look at that. The least as you figure traces out a square as it travels, and you might not notice that if you didn't have that persistent phosphor. Right? So what we're basically doing here is we just have two oscillators, one going into the plus input of the vertical oscillator or vertical amplifier, and the other uh, oscillator is going into the plus input of the horizontal oscillator or amplifier. Sorry and we're not using the time base at all. We've got the uh, scope set to uh, horizontal amp only. So we've disconnected the horizontal amp from the time base. We're operating the scope in XY mode and we're showing uh, two oscillators meeting against each other uh, making a nice uh, classic lease as you figure. And watch what happens as I vary the frequency of one of the oscillators. Alright, there we go. There's another very classic Lisa Zhu figure. And the oscillators are not really all that stable. Uh, one of them is, I've, I'm running the uh, Interstate F43 is one oscillator and the old Wavetech uh, Mark III is the other one. The Wavetech is not nearly as stable as the F43, so the Wavetech is drifting in frequency a little bit. And uh, so you see this nice Lisa Zhu figure changing from one cardioid shape through this pattern to a d the flipped cardioid like that. Isn't that neat? Oh, I love this oscilloscope, and I'm so glad I finally got it. Now I'm varying the frequency again. Finally got it working. And uh, there's yet a third classic Lisa Zhu figure right there. Nice bow tie. And varying frequency again. a good little sine wave kind of thingy. Now we're up, uh, we're going so slow on the one that all you, that you mostly see the second oscillation from the wave tech. And we'll go back in the other direction. Cycle through. There's that nice uh, circle right there. Going faster and faster. That one's got a nice three-dimensional quality to it, don't you think? Looks kind of different on the on the video screen than it does in the real screen. I like the effect that, it, that it's putting on the video screen. That's nice. This one has a real 3D effect to it, too. Kind of looks like two discs joined at the edge rotating around. Okay, these are classic Lisa Zhu figures uh, formed by putting the input of two oscillators into the X and Y inputs of the very classy 
classic oscilloscope, the Tektronix RM503. Thank you for watching.